This is the great legend and I am coming at you live with a special video. Tonight, the great legend meets Harley Quinn. That's right, fans. The great legend meets Harley Quinn tonight on the Great Legend Show. This is a, going to be a quick video, a little special, showing off some of my key issues for uh, Harley Quinn, the character um, from Batman the Animated Series and also the DC uh, Comics Universe. Um, like many of you, my first introduction to Harley um, came in the form of this show right here. A lot of us um, watched it in the 90s. It's the uh, Batman the Animated Series. This, of course, is uh, Volume 1 of the Animated Series. It's a four-disc set. Um, great, great series here. This pretty much started, um, for me anyways, this was like the first dark um, kind of cartoon animated series that I ever, uh, had ever seen. I was, I guess, in um, eighth grade, kind of transitioning into the ninth grade. Very good um, series here. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I also have volume two, th uh, volume three, and what they call volume four, which is the, um, you know, Batman, the uh, Gotham Knights, or uh, the new Batman Adventures, whatever you want to call it. They have, um, later on in the series, they changed it. I, I don't know, maybe it's volume two or volume three, but the episodes started getting called the uh, Adventures of Batman and Robin, which showcased more uh, Dick Grayson. But anyways, we have Harley Quinn here. Um, and I'm trying to remember what episode she appeared in. Oh, uh, let's see. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, okay. It was called Joker's Favor. That was the name of the um, first episode she was in. It's called Joker's Favor. And with Harley, what... what who she was and where she comes from she was a um, psychiatrist at the um, Arkham Asylum and she was trying to you know help Joker and get him you know to be normal like that's ever gonna happen come on really <laughs> Joker be like normal and reformed and all that but um, her name was um, Dr. Harleen Quinzel Harleen Quinzel and of course we all know the story, you know, us kids that grew up watching uh, the animated series. Harley, she falls for the Joker and, you know, falls in love with him and becomes uh, his sidekick. Probably one of his ultimate sidekicks, if you will. Uh, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you uh, her first appearance in comic books. And um, a lot of you have this issue out there, most notably uh, Mr. Fix-It Smash, our good friend Ben showed a lot of his Harley stuff and pretty much he probably has all the stuff I'm going to show you but I'm going to kind of show you my little Harley collection um, I've also been collecting uh, like Ben has I've been collecting the Batman um, adventures and I pretty much got all those I want to get a couple of replaced because some of my issues aren't in the best condition I think I don't remember the numbers maybe 34 35 or 33 34 can't remember just some issues I can easily get anywhere but um, I'll show you her um, Harley's first appearance her comic book appearance was in this comic right here Batman Adventures number 12 of course um, the Batman Adventures logo is scraped out with a uh, bat and then has girl for of course Batgirl and in this issue we have uh, Batgirl confronting Harley and uh, Poison Ivy oh uh, Pamela Isley Poison Ivy great condition I've got it in mylar this is very fine near mint um, great looking book could also be very fine uh, very fine plus at 8.5 or yeah <laughs> I don't know but I think it's probably an 8.5 to 9.0 really cool book this is her first appearance um, in comic books so very cool it's uh, Harley Quinn so really this book it's on the rise all the time because Harley's presence is you know it's everywhere now you know you um, if any of you picked up Injustice uh, Gods Among Us she's in that fighting game she's really comical in that really funny character to use in that fighting game let me show you some other um, the other two books 
So that was her first appearance, this one here. Um, now, this is out of uh, continuity of the DC uh, universe. Of course, that's just Batman Adventures is really an extension off the animated series, but written for younger uh, kids. But still, when you read Batman Adventures, it's kind of like you're watching an episode of the cartoon, and as we all know, the episodes of the cartoon kicked ass. Uh, another guy I want to mention real quick is a huge Harley Quinn fan is DaCosta DC Comics. Uh, DaCosta DC Comics, old Johnny, Johnny DaCosta, he loves him some Harlequin. Uh, it's probably his most favorite female character um, that he likes the best, or that's what I've come to believe from old Johnny DaCosta. Um, so yeah, Harley, everyone loves her. This is a really good issue right here. Kind of straighten it up in my mile hour there. It is a one-shot special. Bat it's the Batman Adventures uh, Mad Love special. It's a one-shot. Um, this issue here for Batman Adventures, it's a special uh, uh, issue. And this pretty much tells the origin story of Harley in comic book format. Um, you know, how she was the psychiatrist, now she fell in love for him. Mad love, I guess you would say. Um, really cool issue here. This is a 64 page issue. This book here is in near mint condition. Of course, we normally put keys, key issues, in Mylar. Of course, the great legend here, he puts it all in Mylar! <laughs> you gotta love it. So that's the special. Um, this is also written by uh, Paul Denny, Bruce Tim, the beast behind the TV show, pretty much. Let's check that out. Great looking cover there. A little closer, if you don't like a little closeness. If you want a little close, if you want to get close with this Harley, Harley Quinn. And the last one I want to show you is her origin. So pretty much, yeah, this is her origin inside the DC continuity. This is the uh, one-shot Batman Harley Quinn. Uh, Paul Denny wrote this one too. Beautiful Alex Ross cover. Very cool. So this is her actual origin inside the DC continuity. So um, this makes it official. You know, this book here puts her in the DC universe. So, and this story here pretty much is just a retelling of the Mad Love origin here, you know, just the classic stuff you've seen in the cartoon. She falls head over heel, heels for Joker, working in the asylum, um, you know, stuff like that. And of course, this is her um, other book here. So yeah, some Harlequin books here. Hope you like the uh, the Harley books. Um, just kind of coming out there doing a little special for you not gonna take too long of your time just want to let you know I'm still alive you may notice I've kinda of gone uh, hippies, hippies collectibles here because I can't find my hat <laughs> so props to hippie you know so uh, good times let the good times roll with Harlequin so if you have any uh, fond memories of the Batman animated uh, series TV show or the Batman Adventures comics or if you just want to talk about Harley Quinn, uh, please talk in the uh, comments below and I'll try to um, answer any questions or I can direct you to uh, Mr. Fixit Smash or uh, John DaCosta. They, they know a lot, probably a lot more than me about Harley. Um, so yeah, just a really cool character probably one of my most favorite of the DC female characters um, villain characters anyways but yeah just a really cool character and I love um, her interactions uh, with the Joker especially in the cartoon so anyways fans remember comment like subscribe you know how we roll with it on the great legend show we always love when the community you know we, we just love the community here and you know we got the best comic book community in all the communities in all the comic books in the world if that made any sense <laughs> so fans this is the great legend saying peace out god bless